Well, after surviving last night's crazy storm, we moved to the north rim of the Grand Canyon to do some exploration and find some beautiful campsites. So we've had problems with our AC where when we accelerate, the AC seems to not be blowing and then when George lets go of the gas, mm -hmm. then it turns on again. This little um, 90 degree um, fitting had actually come off the vacuum bottle. Well, actually this was plugged into the vacuum bottle, but then the tube that goes into this side mm -hmm. fell out. And most of the time, like if everything is okay, then this just stays on there. Yeah. But I don't know what's happened over time. problem seems to have been made worse. Now it's not blowing out of these vents at all. It's only blowing out of these vents here, but not these main vents when you throttle or not throttle. So let's see what's going on. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's the problem. It's totally like disconnected. Yeah. Okay. Shit. That's hot. But it's coming out here. See that? It's like barely like connected. It's just like sliding in and out. So that's the connection. Okay, that should work. We are at the Little Colorado River Gorge viewpoint. It's on Navajo lands. There's a booth you enter, it's by donation. There's pit toilets here. Um, and there are, there's a viewpoint obviously of the Little Colorado River Gorge and there's some arts and crafts, Navajo arts and crafts being sold in the area as well. So let's have a look. I can hear water but I can't see it. But this is quite impressive. I mean, I just came from the Grand Canyon and I think this is impressive. And it's not super busy. In this area, yes, yes. Uh -huh. But it was basically made of buffalo bone, you said, right? And elk hide. So, what was meant to be a outhouse pit stop? <laughs> How long have we been here? Like maybe two hours? No, not quite two hours. One and a half hours. Yeah, anyway. about one and a half hours. And thirty-eight dollars later, we have a tomahawk. <laughs> Authentic, made by the Navajo people, mm -hmm. and a friendship bracelet. Probably not authentic, mm. but made with juniper berries. So that's pretty cool. The other guy at the first stall showed us that the juniper berries have a hole already, and then they just use a needle and they poke a hole through the other end to make art jewelry out of it. So that's what I have. And now we're hungry. He told us to go to the trading post and have some Navajo hot beef. I grabbed some hot beef recommended by the man at the market from the Navajo trading post. Here we are, <laughs> not eating Navajo hot beef. Because it's not at this trading post, it's at the Cameron trading post. One mile down the road. Navajo hot beef, take two. Here we are. We're at the right place this time. Here we are inside the Cameron Trading Post restaurant. Really nice view of this window. Yes, we're gonna have our Navajo hot beef. Mm.
those curves. It's fine. I don't want to go down there. I want to go this way. Well, exactly. Why do I have to go down there? You don't have to. Oh, you just you. do. <laughs> What do you think? Absolutely sublime. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is the camp site along the north rim that we decided on. The sun's about to set. Um, there weren't actually a lot of sites. Like we drove to Crazy Point and there was like two sites there maybe. One was already taken up, the other one was kind of like right at the viewpoint. And then we started to drive down Monument Point Road and there was one really nice one. It was taken, it was like all clear here. So you had a huge, like a beautiful view of the canyon. Um, the next one was kind of like heavily treed and then this one seemed to have some breaks for us to be able to see the canyon. Mm -hmm. It's about 9.30, just uh, getting ready to make dinner. Got some ground beef and some chow mein uh, frozen mix and some mushrooms. And it's going to be great. <laughs> Got our awning set up here with my solar light and our table and uh, some wine with a hand washing station. Yes. A calm night, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can't wait for the sunrise. July 18th. So here we are again. <laughs> we were like having a nice, calm dinner, watching a beautiful lightning storm off to this side here, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, we were like, Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's coming towards us, it's moving further away. It was nice and calm. And then all of a sudden the winds picked up like crazy. Yeah. Started blowing all of our stuff all over the place. So we like quickly just stuffed everything in the back and uh, got inside the Jeep and waiting for this wind to, to die down. Mm -hmm. It blew over the ladder for the yeah. uh, it almost hit tent. Deep. Yeah, crazy. But you know, I don't think it's going to last too long. It's not raining, it's just all of a sudden the winds yeah. picked up like crazy. But I think there are some really dark storm clouds just above us right now. Yeah, <clears throat> and we couldn't see because it was already like night, <laughs> like dark. So we're just gonna wait just this out and see what happens. We got our wine. <laughs> Jim Beam. There you go. Yep, <laughs> cheers. <laughs>
Monument Point, north rim of the Grand Canyon at this uh, Bill Hall trailhead. And we're gonna hike up that away to the end of the trail and have the view. The Jeep is right above my head there. there. <laughs> But it was a really quick and easy hike. To keep a supply of cold water cold by that? filling up this bottle that we got um, into my canteen here. And then just uh, like before we're about to leave, it's not much, but cold water is good. And then I'll just fill this up and put it back into the fridge for our next stop when we need more cold water. Mm. <laughs> so here along Monument, Trail. This is where we camped last night and there are two more sites along this trail. So here's the other one. It's not that bad actually. Yeah, I guess we could have stayed there if we wanted to. Yeah, and then the last site, which is the first site when you enter it actually because we're going backwards, is um, a really nice one. Yeah, and here's the last site that was really nice. Oh. There's a lady that we talked to yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice sight. Looks like she's just enjoying the view. This is driving down the 250 so that we can connect up with the Paris uh, Pits and the Tim Point um, Road. Actually trying to get to Paris uh, um, Pits, um, but our map showed us that it was a different road. So yeah, so now we're like going to that point there. We should have turned on the 215. Our map said the 215 was going to another Crazy Jugs viewpoint, but whatever, it will be spectacular. And here is the view from that fence point. Jeez. Oh man. to have some lunch mm -hmm. and it looks like there's like probably at least 10 really nice spots out here with like nice big trees there you have it oh it goes further and we're just gonna have lunch that's our leftover Navajo taco from yesterday we have some water and um some fruit or something like that. Those are shots we eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there's our lunch. Here. And now it's pouring. Watch that couch off. Driving. <laughs> we just left like that tip point lunch area where we were baking in the sun. Maybe about 15 minutes ago. It's pouring. Oh, I'm getting 
Here are the restrooms and a bunch of water faucets to fill up water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's like bottled water filling, faucets for jugs. So we filled up our water and we're ready to go. right off the road there's a fire ring and um, just down the road here where the actual trailhead is we saw another truck a truck parked down there so if those are the two sites then that's it yeah so we're just trying to level out the tent with these rocks here straight to me. <laughs> because the weather was pretty bad and we didn't have a fire 
and it was cold. So we woke up pretty early this morning at like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're having breakfast under the uh, awning here. Um, we're having some coffee and hot chocolate since we weren't able to have our hot chocolate last night. Today we're going to head to Vermilion Cliffs. So we'll find a way there. Maybe we'll do some laundry on the way, along the way. Mm, probably not. Fine. I really have to do laundry. It's been like two weeks, I think, since we've done laundry. So, yeah. We'll just do some camp laundry. It's not sunny enough. Well, maybe it, it will, will be. be. Not now, uh, but like later. Yeah. Okay, well, see what happens. See what happens.